Cummins' connection with NMSU has really been founded upon a bunch of alumni who were working in Cummins who wanted to start giving back to the university. Working with Cummins has really helped us with the process and the, the engineering thought process and critical thinking that comes along. The impact of having Cummins employees working with the students on the team has been huge. With our mentoring, I think one of the good benefits is that we're able to provide some accountability to the students. I think the biggest way that Cummins has helped us is with the overall project management and organization. We act as if we're customers of their product, customers of the Baja car. We've been competing in Baja for over 30 years. The College of Engineering sees a huge value for this student organization here on campus. I think a big thing that Baja teaches you is a new way to design. You have to think about how you're going to manufacture these certain things or how the maintenance will be for those parts. And I think that's great to take to internships and jobs to have that experience. So when you're doing a design for a company, you have that in mind. The things that you're going to learn in Baja aren't just applicable to Baja. They grow you as a person outside of that. Beyond building and fabricating the actual Baja car, we're learning so much about teamwork and about communication, about organization, and about collaboration between our team, T2, and T1, the original team that's the boys team. I think bringing an all-female team into this what we're going to call typically a male-dominated competition here has been huge for New Mexico State University. So by starting T2 we were able to create this environment where the people can actually learn enough to be able to ask questions and create a safe haven where they aren't embarrassed to ask those questions. We learn all the part names and it's just a, it's a great environment to be in. Uh, I think the T1 and T2 partnership has been great because we're working on two separate projects but we're able to bring a little bit of expertise from each side together. Right now we have more incoming females joining Mini Baja than we ever have in the past. Baja got involved with Cowboys for Cancer Research and Tough Enough to Wear Pink because we wanted to raise even more awareness. Basically we thought if we could promote STEM education and engineering, why not also promote breast cancer awareness? I think joining student organizations is a, a huge key for incoming freshmen and I think Baja is a great, a great organization to join. Having collegiate design competitions such as SAE Baja provides the opportunity for our students to gain those hard skills that they're not getting in a traditional classroom setting. The things you learn in Baja are really invaluable for what you do later in life. Coming into the mini Baja program here at New Mexico State University, you don't have to have any type of automotive background, any type of motorsports experience. You don't even have to be an engineering student. Through Baja, I had to learn how to communicate and how to work with people from a bunch of different backgrounds times in their lives and kind of overcome different difficulties resulting from that diversity. One of the key motivators for Cummins to recruit from New Mexico State is the diversity here. Working in industry and through the internships, everyone comes from somewhere different, so everyone has different ideas. We're actually employing a bunch of the uh, same procedures that industry is using in their engineering programs. We've seen immediate results. And that will help promote you on a professional level as, a, as well as on a personal level, developing your technical skills as well as your soft skills there at Cummins. The SAE Baja competition encompasses kind of the whole spectrum of what we can expect to see in industry. Not only do our students have to design, manufacture, test, and compete a car, they also have to look at other aspects such as marketing, budgeting, time management, things like that that actually apply in the real world.